we videoing? Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do the scout one, two, three, four, five. Keep that one down. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Four. This is four. Four, five. Yeah, got it. My grandpa's good, okay. Yeah. The next one is open these three fingers, keep those <laughs> yeah, there. Up and open down now. on the fourth hole. Got two fingers together. Now three fingers, three holes. Let's do a slide. Let's do a slide. This is a slide. Okay. All right. We got support from your two grandmas here. You're a lucky girl. Okay. So we're gonna do an up and down on the on the fourth note, or like this. This note. These two up. Okay. Okay, Grandpa. Then. Up and down. Two. What's your husband's name? Emerson. Emerson. Okay, Emerson. Grandpa Emerson's doing good. Okay, up and down. Now three. And that's a technique for doing one finger, two fingers, or three fingers when you're using it in your songs. Okay, next we're going to bend the note with this one finger. Get it and push it. Now two fingers. We're going to bend the note with two fingers, two notes. Now we'll bend the three notes, three fingers. Next, we're doing the trill. Okay. Do this. Mm, Grandpa Emerson's good with the trill. Okay. The trumpet good. player. Triple All right, good. That was easy. Okay, so do the trill for your granddaughter. Go. I can triple. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa's going to show you something else when he gets there. Okay. And then we'll do the vibrato, which you probably know, just with these three notes, which is... Excellent. Let's end it with a pop. A pop is... Okay, let's try the vibrato like you just did and then end it with a pop. Open one, two, three with the with the vibrato. And right. Did it. Okay. He's, he's, he's going to be he good. Okay. The next thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to um, take the. This is the bird uh, or the nest, and when it gets moist, when you've been playing it for over 40 minutes, put your thumb here if your notes get fuzzy because of the moisture. We're going to take this off and dry it. So I'm unwrapping this, holding my thumb on the wooden um, nest the whole time. I'm going to take that off, dry the bottom of that, wipe it, dry. Take the brass plate off and dry that, both sides. <clears throat> then, you, then this area, you tap it on your leg or you can tap it on Grandpa's shoulder. <laughs> oh, yeah. blow, blow the air out and then tap it on Grandpa's shoulder again. <laughs> <laughs> if he's visiting you. Okay, and then um, and then what you do is you'll line, there's a little bevel on your flute, and you'll line it. Put your thumb there, make sure it's, it's right against this flat square area of the bottom, the second bottom hole. Hold, hold it this angle, put your bird this way, so it's completely square, your thumb there firmly. The strap on, hold it firm this whole time. The strap should be half and half. Hanging half and half. Pull firmly. Put your two fingers here. Put one strap over one side, one strap over the other. Pull firmly. Put it under your arm or between your legs. Make a teepee. Put one string under and pull just once. You don't have to tie it twice because the leather will stick to each other. And on all our flutes, um, your flute is made of um, aromatic red cedar. And this is elk, not deer, because elk is stronger when you pull on it, lasts longer. 
and then I'm turning it around and this is a, a piece that we make this is a brass plate which keeps the moisture from building up between the nest and the flute and this is called a Sioux spirit flute from the Sioux tribe and it's a six hole and I'm gonna continue over here so you get a little bit more information we all, there's also an Apache five hole so American Indians make a five hole, a six hole, and a four hole flute, which is ceremonial, but we don't carry those. And this is a Cherokee five hole flute. It has an oak. I'm sorry, this is a six hole Cherokee bird flute, which has an opening. That's what makes it different than a Sioux or an Apache. The hole's completely open. And this is a six hole Cheyenne. You can see the difference in size. Let me show yours. And when you get older, if you continue your, your music, you might want this one as a deeper sound. And you can call up Grandpa for Christmas. <laughs> if you keep practicing, <laughs> if you keep practicing, Grandpa might get you a different one that sounds different. Okay, well, and have you played I'm right now, yet? Grandpa yeah, needs yeah, a card. Okay, <laughs> okay, and what's your granddaughter's name? Brooke. 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 Brooke? Congratulations on receiving our flute from your grandparents. We love you Fantastic. very much. Well, aren't you sweet? And your name is I'm Grace. Grace. All right, I'm Paul's Grace. wife, and we make our flutes. Paul's a maker. What a wonderful deal. You can yeah. show this to her at Christmas. Thank you, Brooke.